going over that for Whitney, sure. Whitney, just the best you can describe what was the biggest challenge of going to Sonoma tonight? You know, uh, probably the biggest challenge is their post player, number 10. I mean, she's All-American. She's the Big Ten Player of the Year last year. So, you know, that was definitely a challenge going into this game. When you have a great post player like that, it's hard to stop. And they have some great shooters on the team as well. So it's kind of – we had to kind of guard the inside and, you know, how to cover the outside as well because they had some deadly three-point shooters out there. I know that, Whitney, this is an 0-3 loss and you've played some tough competition, but how is the team right now? As You're trying to find some success and it's just not going there. Um, I think we all understood coming into the season that it wasn't going to be easy. You know, we play Louisville, who's coming off the Final Four. We had Oklahoma on the road, which is a Power Five school, and then we come and play Iowa at home, who's 13th. So I think we all knew it was going to be a challenge and it was going to be difficult. So I think right now we're just going to go back to the drawing board and just go back to practice and work hard and try to figure some things out and get better each and every day. Sherry, this was a team that you all took to overtime last year. I know every year is different, but you know, to lose in the way that you all did tonight just is it that much more. Frustrating, I guess. Uh, yeah, any loss is frustrating. We want to, if we could, we would want to win them all. Um, like we said, we just got to get back in practice, go to the drawing board, and try to get the next one. What happened there in, after halftime? You guys cut it to 11 B hits a three, and just seeing Iowa once again was able to just go off. Um, I think. Um, Coming out of halftime, we wanted to come out with a spark. Uh, we wanted to get the, we wanted to cut the lead, to try to get it under 10, and um, just cut that score and try to get close and try to get ahead. Um, I think it was a little miscommunication out there on D, but um, it's just some things, little small things that we have to work on so we could be successful. When are there any like, positives that you can take away from a game like this? Is there maybe playing hard, just like some takeaways? Yeah, I mean, um, I think a positive thing is our scoring is still really balanced. You know, we have four different players in double digits. And, you know, that's what Coach Collins keeps telling us. The strength of this team is our team. So, you know, when we have four people in double digits, that's kind of showing people that, you know, we just don't depend on one or two people. You know, the whole team is a threat and that we can put the ball in the basket. So I think that's one of the biggest takeaways from these past three games that we've played. I think we've all had multiple players in double digits. Sherry, what's so tough about defending? I know she's talked about the post player, but you know, they've had their 34 assist tonight, just the way that they're able to move the ball. When you guys have played teams that are really good like that and it just seems like they're on a different level, what's the hardest thing about going out there and just talk to them? Um, like I said, it was a little miscommunication. It's not that we couldn't guard them or we couldn't stop them. It was just we're still um, fresh in the season. Uh, we're still ironing out some kinks. And uh, I think next game we just have to communicate more um, to each other and execute the game plan. Whitney, you've got, got, you guys have got five games in eight days coming up soon. It's going to be a really tough stretch. So what are you guys going to try to do to uh, get the most out of that, that road trip? You know, I think we just have to lock in mentally. Like you said, it's going to be challenging. So I think it's kind of mind over matter. We have to put our mind to it and, you know, just stay strong mentally. Don't let the fatigue get to us and just play hard and do what we do and play team basketball. We don't know Coach Collins is talking about limiting three-point shooting by other teams, and it's just not really gone that well this year. I think 45 threes allowed just what has been the biggest thing that he's trying to either preach to you guys or the biggest lap, I guess, on the um, I think with the three-point shooting, the biggest thing that he's talking to us about is we're stopping short at the shooters. We think we're there, but we're really not. We need to close out and try to make them put the ball on the floor instead of just giving them enough space to get that shot off. So I think that was the biggest emphasis we've had in this practice, and I'm sure we'll have it in the next few practices, is just to get out of those shooters and turn them into drivers. Anything else?